Hey, this is Boo with Boo Dogs Training. This is my sister's dog, Eddie. He is a big um, herding dog. He's 100 pounds. He is doing place command for the first time. He does not have a prong collar or e-collar on. I was just at my sister's in Bend, Oregon. She is going to be having other dogs in her house um, watching them overnight. So we're teaching Eddie the place command because he he loves to be underfoot and um, this will be a good skill for her to teach the other dogs so that um, everybody's not in the way and everybody knows their place to lay down and the house is less chaotic. So I'm just showing her by working Eddie. Um, I'm being really patient with him um, and communicating mostly just to try to get him to stay down. So every time I stand up, he sits up or he wants to follow me. So I'm giving him a tug, Eddie down. And I'm really just trying to get him to be okay staying on the mat um, and in a down position and not get up every single time I get up. So this is all in real time. I probably only spent... Um, 10 minutes with him and I cut this video down to about seven minutes. So it's pretty accurate. And this is literally the very first time I'm working him. So, Eddie come, place, down, chicken. I step away and this time he doesn't even get up. He lets me step away. So that first time took a long time to get him to stay, but then the second time I walk him over and put him on place, he stays. Nope. So he gets up, I say no, and I put him back in a down. He does not get a treat. So he's watching me move around the house. And so I say good, and he gets a treat because he's been staying there and not moving. He's not like resting and bored yet, but he's definitely interested in me because I have the chicken, but he's not following me around. This is a dog that loves to lay in the kitchen. Eddie, come. Place. And then he downed automatically. And then I give him some chicken. So now he's totally letting me walk away on like, maybe this is the third or fourth time. He's letting me walk away and move around and not get up. And he's doing really well. So if he gets up, I say no. And then I guide him back into place. I don't really say anything else. I say, Eddie, good. When he stays there, I say good and he gets treated. So the longer he stays on the mat, um, he'll get a good and he'll get chicken for staying on the mat. So he's figuring it out really fast. It doesn't take dogs long. Nope. Down. No. I call him over. Eddie, come. Place, and he automatically went down. So just because I move doesn't mean you get up. So I'm prepared to spend the time with him. So when you're doing this, just be very patient and know that you're just committing maybe a solid 15 minutes to working with your dog. And if you do, a good place for starting. So he doesn't have a prong on, so I'm just giving him some light tugs. Eddie mostly does whatever he wants, um, but he's such a good dog, it's not too big of a deal. But um, him being in the way is definitely sometimes a problem. So teaching him where he can lay um, will be a great, great thing for him. Nope, he stays. 
It's a good boy, Eddie. So I say no. Eddie, no. He's getting a little, uh, doesn't want to pay attention to me now. <laughs> so I'm being pretty gentle with him. Because um, he's pretty easy. And he finally went down. And I tell him, good. And then he gets some chicken. So I'm, I'm walking around and moving around. And just that for Eddie is hard because he wants to follow people around, especially if they have food. And I'm serving up chicken, so. I'm giving a lot of time because that's really what he needs. He needs to learn to stay and that it's okay to stay even though people are moving around. Eddie, come, place, down. So right before he walks onto the mat, I say place, and then when he gets on the mat, I say down. And then at some point, the dog will start to automatically go down, and you don't have to say down anymore. So you would be like, Eddie, come. Right before he steps on, you say, Eddie, place, or place. And then he should automatically down, and then you can walk away. It's an automatic stay when your dog is on place. So he gets up, I say no. He doesn't go back into a down, so I'm helping him a little bit. And just kind of ignoring him, pawing at me. So he went back into a down. I'm just calling him over. Eddie, come. Place. Down, he automatically downed. Oh, I walk away and he gets up. I put him back down. Well, that's his hardest thing. So I'm just going to walk away and give him some chicken. So if he lets me walk away and he stays in down, then I give him a good and I give him chicken. Good job, Eddie. Blue Dog's training.